Hello everyone and welcome, I'm Kiv, your favorite degenerate, and today I want to talk about just how powerful is the Bulldog and what can we expect from this new shotgun that is very different to what we've seen in the past from the classic Halo shotgun. And basically asking the question, is this thing going to be overpowered? Because they have talked about making it a much more widely available kind of gun to have. So that might just mean that yes, it's easier to get your hands on, but it might not be as powerful and it may be a bit lackluster. Because if a shotgun is no longer going to be a power weapon, is it going to become a potato gun? And uh, <laughs> if not, just how good is it? Let's have a look at some of the gameplay that we've seen and find out. So, having a look at the latest footage, this first engagement is roughly about, I'd, I'd say, two meters away, and the Bulldog is pretty goddamn powerful. It definitely packs a punch, and I would say it's about on par with your normal classic Halo shotgun at close range. Please remember that at the end of the day, it is a shotgun, and so it is going to be powerful the closer you get. Now, I know what some of you may be thinking. Hey, thank you, Captain Obvious. I wouldn't have been able to know that revelation without you, but uh, <laughs> what I wanted to kind of more focus on is how the damage drop-off works, because it seems that the gun can fire a lot faster than your normal shotgun so it's got a really good damage per second it can put a lot of damage out and it doesn't take a lot of time you'll notice from all of the gameplay we're seeing this year when people are hitting their shots they are dropping players within about two or three shots but when you're missing your shots you are probably gonna have to rely on the good old right-hander hook and just smack them around a bit uh, to finish them off so as far as weapon stats go, I would say that the damage and the fire rate are both pretty freaking good. Uh, the magazine size, unfortunately, we can't tell because all of the up-to-date gameplay has no heads-up display, so we don't have an ammo counter. Last year, when we saw the gun in the initial reveal, there was a 10-round magazine. That is phenomenal. 10 rounds, when it takes like 2 or 3 to drop someone, you can get many kills with just one mag, and I think that's also leaning towards the overpowered end of the scale. So, if you also include a pretty quick reload time, that's a very powerful gun. So where is the damage drop-off? Where do things get to be balanced? Well, I think that's gonna be really difficult, and there's a reason for that. All of the gameplay that we've seen is with the rose-colored glasses of a reveal, of a trailer, showing off things in a very pleasing and aesthetic way, the way that developers usually do. They don't play in the way that real people do. Let's use an example. Say you're playing Halo and you pick up a shotgun. Are you gonna go running at the enemy? Hell no, no one does that. You're gonna sit in a corner and you're gonna wait for them to come to you. That's what anyone with a shotgun does in real life Halo multiplayer. So I think that there's a bit of a difference between what we've seen in a reveal and how players actually play. Because we can see in these trailers, you can pick up a bulldog off the wall and it doesn't look to be the special sort of setup that they have for certain power weapons. Like this gravity hammer in the middle of the map has its own particular spot and it isn't inside of a UNSC armory case. So certain weapons that are confirmed and that we know are power weapons are treated differently to the Bulldog. The Bulldog is being treated almost like a battle rifle or a commando, which are other guns that you can find in the UNSC armory cases on the walls. So because of all of those things that I have just mentioned over the past couple minutes, all of those reasons that point towards the Bulldog being a really powerful gun that's easy to get your hands on, I think that the damage drop-off on this thing is going to be crazy. It is pretty much the only way that 343 would be able to balance this thing, because from what we've seen so far, it looks like it's going to be very powerful. And that's why I think, in my opinion, it's going to be a god gun at 5 meters and under. But as soon as it comes out of that, it's going to be useless. To me, that seems like the only possible way that 343 is going to be able to balance this thing. Because everything else 
in my books is pointing towards overpowered, but if you have got a crazy damage drop off, that makes it a little bit better, but it certainly doesn't make it fair. So I think that might be one of the reasons why you are seeing hit markers on grenades in Halo Infinite so far, because that can help as an indicator to make sure that someone's not hiding in a corner with a bulldog ready to pounce. So. Yeah, that's my opinion so far on what we've seen of the Bulldog. I hope you guys enjoy the video. Please let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me or do you disagree? Or do you just want to say g'day? <laughs> I've been Kiv and I'll see you all on the next one.